ever had to keep the attention of five young kids? Well, we did, and it was very hard. Our project was to go to Bahia Vista School and teach kids how to play basketball. We would go every Wednesday, and in total, we had six ses sessions. We had a lot of fun while teaching them something new. It came along with some writing, but it was worth seeing smiles on faces. The girls didn't exactly have the longest attention span. Teaching fifth graders and trying to keep their attention while we're boring them with instructions is kind of hard. Each time the girls would listen to us, we'd tell them a funny story about Gabby. The girls loved Gabby. So if you can imagine six weeks of boring instructions and explanations, the anticipation for hearing a funny story grows. <laughs> One time we were teaching the girls, and I said, and I told some kid named Andy to get off the court. The girls started to laugh ex hysterically, and then Sophia, Cotin, and I started to laugh as well. We laughed for about five minutes straight. We laughed for all the sessions like crazy, more than you can imagine. We got our idea from talking about a basketball game. And Gabby said, I think I just came up with a genius idea for our 20% project. She explained it, and I loved it. But we had to put our heads together to work out the logistics. We thought we had a good, solid idea. We never changed our original idea. We thought it was good. We succeeded in our project. At one point, we didn't think we were going to be able to. We thought we weren't going to have enough, going to have enough time, or the school wouldn't approve our idea. We succeeded with we succeeded with our project with the help of a woman that runs the after school program at Bahia Vista. This entire project was a learning experience. We learned that it isn't as easy to teach kids as teachers make it seem. Coming up with fun ideas for the fun things for the girls to do was really hard. It was inter interesting to see what they ended up thinking. Okay. Next year, we thought we might do this for community service or just for fun. The girls said they wish they could do it again next year, so we might expand on the ages from four, fourth to fifth grade. We had so much fun the entire time. And also, the entire time wasn't to make them WNBA superstars, but to give them a fun after-school activity and give them an opportunity to have great to develop great sportsmanship and teamwork skills. team name was the Cheetah Girls. We followed by our motto the whole time. We, we work, work as a team to create a team. team. This kept us going and motivated. It took a lot of work, but we did it together. 